Hello guys! Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today's video request is how to use callouts in text in Canva, specifically callouts in marketing. So let's talk about that in today's video. Alright, so here on our homepage, we're going to go to custom size or to the custom size button and we're going to input our desired dimensions right over here. And then once you're done, you can choose your desired unit and then click on create new design. This will take us to the editor or the editing page. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load up, so let's just wait for it. And here we are. So in case you might want to use some templates, you can go to the side panel over here. Templates will automatically display. You can scroll down or you can use the search bar to look for specific templates you're looking for. You can find the templates under the design category. As for me, um, for our callouts, we're going to start from scratch uh, for today's video. So, yep, we're going to get started. You can choose to use any background photo or background you want. You can even use colors by clicking this color button over here. You can choose from solid colors or gradients, but as for me, I think photos would be nice. If you want to use your own photos, you're going to have to upload them to Canva first. So go to the uploads button on the sidebar. And then if you haven't uploaded your photos yet, click on upload files. Then select the files you want to upload. If you want to select multiple files at the same time, press on one file. And then long press your um, long press the control key on your keyboard and then continue selecting the other files you want to upload to Canva. Once you're done selecting everything, click on open and they'll be uploaded right over here. And once they're fully loaded or yeah, fully uploaded, you can click on them or drag them to your design and use them. Um, position them however you want to. I don't have any photos of my own that I really like to use so um, I'm just gonna go to the element section. Here on the element section we'll be able to find different kinds of elements such as graphic elements or photo elements that we can use on our design. Um, for my call out I'm just gonna use the phrase um, special free shipping so I guess we're going to look for delivery um, related photos. So I'm going to type delivery on the search bar and I'm going to go to photos to look for some nice delivery photos that we can use. I'm going to scroll down and see what we can find over here. Uh, this one looks nice, but I think the, um, the color is too dark. So maybe we could find another one. Okay, I think this one looks nice. I don't really like the color of the background, but perhaps we can do something about it. I'm going to click on see all to see what else we can find. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to try to choose this or yeah, maybe I'm going to stick to this one. So I'm going to go to edit image. I'm going to click on BG remover. I'd like to remove the background because I'm not a big fan of the um, background color. So we're going to remove the background color first by using the background remover tool. I'm going to wait for a bit. And there we go. Mm, I think that's more I like it. Okay, perhaps we could put that over here. And then for our background color, I'd like to change it to something yellow yeah perhaps that's fine okay i think we're good to go i'm just gonna crop this one out yeah i think that's so much better and then i'm gonna start adding our text now so i'm gonna go to the text button here on the sidebar and depending on you, or depends on what you like, you can choose from text templates over here. 
Um, I think this is nice. Let's try to use this one. So I'm going to put that over here. And I think these are two text elements, so I'm going to ungroup them so that we'd be able to manually edit them. I mean, and individually edit them. So I'm going to click on this word huge and I'm going to change its color to black, I guess. Let's give it a try. And I'd like to type in here free. And then this one, I'd like to change its color to black as well. Make it smaller. And say here, shipping. Um, put that here. Maybe here. Okay. This one is, I think, too small. So perhaps we're going to adjust it. I'm just going to zoom in so that we'd be able to have more control over the position or how we position our text here. And I think that's okay. That's good. I would like to duplicate this text over here. And I'm going to type in special, the word special, I mean. And I'm going to go to effects and remove the special effect. Or maybe we could add a background to it. So I'm going to choose a background here. Maybe we could have black as our background and we're going to turn our text to white or to the same color. Yeah, I think that's nice. And I'm going to go to effects again. I'd like to adjust the, the roundness. So there you go. I think it's looking nice so far. I'm just going to adjust it. And I'd like to adjust its letter spacing. Nice, but I think it's too much, so. Once again, I'm going to zoom in so that we can control it better. Perhaps I'd like to adjust its roundness more. Almost similar to that of this letter E over here. Let's zoom out. And I think it looks, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Free shipping or a special free shipping. Okay. And I am going to select everything and I'm going to group them so that I'd be able to move them all at the same time without compromising their design or their layout. And I'm going to ungroup them once again. And I guess I'm going to change the um, color of the word free here. And then I guess I should add special effects to it. Okay, and in case you want to add some elements to make it look more interesting, then you can go to elements here. Um, look for whatever it is you want to look for. Um, I think, yeah, maybe this would do. Go to graphics if you're looking for graphic elements. And I guess I should look for another one. Yeah, maybe... Or maybe this one. I'm going to put this over here. And change its color to that of the background of this one. Okay. So basically, just add any element you want to um, until you're happy with your design. And I think that's it. Once you're happy with your design, then it's finally time for you to download it. Or you can also share it from Canva to other platforms. 
So to do that, just go to the share button over here. To share it to other platforms, you can just click on share on social. And here you have um, the most popular social media platforms you can choose from. If you like, you can also do more. You can go to the, um, the more button over here and see some options you might want to go for. You have a lot, actually. But if you want to download your design, you can just click on share and then go to download instead. Um, select your preferred file type over here for photos. PNG would be the best um, format. And then adjust your other download settings over here according to your preferences. And once everything's all set, then go ahead and click on download. And there you have it. So that's how you create callouts in Canva. Marketing callouts, to be specific. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. We hope you found today's video of Hop Somehow. See you guys in the next video, and you guys have a great day.